Hey guys, Peter here. So, this video is going to show you how to install the tail lights for the Club Car President. So, this is technically part of the light kit installation video. The reason why it's not part of that initial video is because I wasn't able to uh, install the tail lights because I didn't have the body for the Club Car. So, this is actually a continuation of that specific video. If you have not seen that video, I suggest you go watch it so you can see how the whole light kit is being installed. But if you just need a, a video on how to install the tail lights, feel free to just watch this. Hopefully, it's going to be beneficial and helpful to you, and hopefully, it'll answer any questions you run into. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Pay attention to any little notes that pop up on that screen because I might say something, it might be a wrong measurement I'm verbally saying, but you're going to see. I input the proper measurement, okay? So just go ahead and watch that video and tune in for more. Hopefully you guys are keeping track of what I'm putting out. If not, you should just go back and watch some videos, all right? Hopefully you guys like this video. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button because that does help me out for sure. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, regarding anything you're watching don't hesitate to leave me a comment and i'll go ahead and reply to your your question all right thank you very much and enjoy i'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole for the tail lights obviously all the wires are ran i got the body on now so i'm gonna drill the holes and then mount the lights all right, so we're supposed to measure two and a quarter from the body line. So this line right here, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, two and a quarter. So it's about here. Okay, so let me just confirm that. And then uh, one and a half from the bumper. Just like this. Alright, so two and a quarter from this body line over and then one and a half up. And then it's a, and then you're supposed to use a, a inch and a half hole saw. So I have hole saws, but I'm gonna attempt to do it with this. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Okay, it's an inch and a half. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole. <laughs> kind of try to be as precise as possible because in here there's this black piece. Uh, let's turn on my light. So that's right above that one inch mark. Okay. Uh, so try to be as precise as possible. Have your toys cut once. Two and a quarter. One and a half. Always good to wear safety glasses, guys. You don't want this stuff flying in your eyeball. Don't have fun in games if somebody gets hurt. So now we gotta find the wire in here. Let's see where this wire is at. Yeah, that's all the way back there. So ideally, you wanna do something where you can just hook it up, hook it in, and pull it. I, uh, I didn't do that. So, uh, or you, you could use a wire, a coat hanger, whatever to pull it. So, I didn't do that. Or, I'm gonna have to do it. I didn't prepare for that right now. So, with this one, I can see I should be able to grab it. The other one, I, I must have moved when I was putting the body on. So, there's a, there's a wire right there. I'm gonna go get the light. And uh, I gotta clean it with alcohol. Alright, so I went ahead and pulled all this side out too. It's right here. All I did was just, I just grabbed this fly swatter and just flipped it over and just hooked onto it and pulled it. It was available. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off with some alcohol and then install the, um, the light. Alright, so this is cleaned off with some alcohol. This is going to go... I do recommend giving yourself a little bit more slack. Excuse the background noise. Aiden, be quiet, dude. Um, 
to make sure you got the right ones connected here okay the wires are gonna match brown brown white white and black black and then this is gonna go installed here all right so this is installed so I said two and a quarter inches over and this is according to another source that I was watching but this I don't know if it's just because of the specific the way this light is designed the instruction I couldn't find an instruction maybe I overlooked it but what happened was the uh, the light was only going over about like that so it was leaving a gap at the back uh, so basically I had a I'm gonna have to drill out a little bit more here so this could slide over so that's what I had to do on this side uh, on this side here and you can still see the little gap here uh, I don't want to go too much because if I go too much then we're gonna end up with a issue on this side but yeah so apparently I don't know if this is just the uh, the actual light itself is designed like that or what but um, so that's the deal with that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side I'm gonna cut you know do it cut a little bit more here and then we should be good to go. As a matter of fact, it's not too bad. I'm gonna look. If I don't have to cut it, I'm not gonna cut it. Uh, because by trying to cut this, I put a little scratch in here, as you can see, because I slipped a little bit with the, whatever I was cutting with. So I'm not happy about that. I had to notch it out like this to allow this part right here to move over. I just gotta adjust it, try to make it line up with that one. So these lights are installed. You should always check before you start mounting things to make sure everything works. But I already knew they worked, but you never know. And I can see the hazards. We'll turn the hazards on so I don't have to do each turn signal. All right, so and all this is is double-sided tape. So this sticks on here. And you got one screw here, and then this one screw here. Be careful with this one especially. Uh, you don't want to over tighten because this you will break the plastic so just get it nice and snug otherwise if you got if you're strong if you got a habit of pushing that trigger on that drill and not filling it out you're gonna for sure break that plastic uh, but that's it guys so the lights are done my body's on i'm disappointed i kind of scratched it i don't think you can see that unless you come up to it and look for it the next step is i'm gonna try to install this backseat kit all right, so that concludes the taillight installation of the club car president. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's not too long, but you for sure see what needs to be done. And you can see what, how to overcome certain issues that may come up as far as maybe uh, where the hole is located or whatever. Just pay special attention to instructions and you should be fine. But feel free, once again, to leave any comments. I'd be more than happy to reply to them accordingly. So thanks again, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.